continues now with an exclusive report from Christina Vasquez. She's live with a never before seen look at how scientists are using wastewater to get real time data to predict outbreaks. Christina. We are talking about wastewater epidemiology and the infectious disease experts I have checked in this. They say that this is an innovative strategy that really helps them predict any kind of upcoming spikes that also informs policy. This is a rare view of how COVID is being detected in our community's wastewater. Here, a Miami-Dade County water and sewer treatment plant operator collects a sample from where wastewater first enters the central district treatment plant. Next, an environmental lab technician prepares the samples to be sent to BioBot, a MIT spinoff, which analyzes it to detect COVID, data that can help predict outbreak. Here's Department Director Roy Coley. The prediction the laboratory says that the population that the sample represents uh, will result in new cases of COVID a day. Samples, a department spokesperson explained, are also provided to the University of Miami, where researchers there, they said, detected Omicron in the wastewater earlier this month. We share that information with uh, our own county emergency management, and we allow all the medical experts to uh, have the benefit of that. It's been absolutely critical. It's given us a heads up. Uh, when new variants are in our community. FIU infectious disease expert Dr. Eileen Marty said this wastewater surveillance process serves as an early warning system. It's us aware of who's likely to be coming to the hospital and gives us a, a concept of the likely numbers that we can expect. Especially important given how much scientists are still trying to learn about Omicron. We still are not certain that it truly is milder. And to give you a sense of how important this is, I am joining you live from Jackson. So Dr. Eileen Marty says the data points that they've been getting from this wastewater sampling, it also informs hospital staff in our area. As they look ahead and those data points inform them, there could be a spike in X amount of days. They use that information to do things like scheduling and start preparing for those that they anticipate will end up in the hospital. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Christina, thank you.